Hello friends, this is Fuzzfinger and welcome back to Nino Kuni. So we are currently in Castaway Cove, we've just defeated a boss and learned in the previous episode uh, some of our first alchemy recipes. Uh, before we do anything else, I'm just going to double check down here if there's anything exciting on this Evan board. And look, there are three Evans for us. Number 6, number 49 and number 76. All of which can be collected right here in Alma Moon. And there's also a couple of uh, flashy green things on the map, so we're going to go and see exactly what they're about. Let's just see what's in here. A good old flan. Because that's not a random place to keep a flan at all, is it? Uh, was this the person that gives us the Evan? I missed it, actually. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, number 49, a snazzier swimsuit. So that'll do nicely. Now, so may as well go and grab the others while we're here, although... Uh, we're not going to do them straight away, though we will be doing them fairly soon. Ah, there's a flashy blue thing up here as well. Move out the way, please, lady. So this sounds like it could very well be an alchemy style quest, which we do get in this game now that we can uh, use our cauldron. So we will of course agree to that, we've got to make a candle cutter and we are going to need a flint dagger and some ember stone for that one. check on the map where we're going. The little flashy blue one that's near the inn, I believe is the lady we've already spoken to, so we're not going to rush our way back over there. Okay, so we can take kindness from this lady. And if she's going to let us take it. And I'm not sure if we've already got kindness. But we'll see what happens. And we can take it, so we will. In fact, we don't have anything now except that kindness. So we'll see what else we can take while we're here. Oh, we need to go down, actually, to the pier. Uh, mainly because that's where the next part of the story will take place. So it's back all the way around, which is typical. I probably could have done this in a bit of a quicker order. But it's okay, we'll get there eventually. Thank you everybody for your patience through this playthrough. I'm gonna go down. The piers are down, you silly, stupid boy. Looks like we've got a cutscene of some kind coming up. Yes, you might have noticed that everybody's wearing a swimsuit. And I've got a feeling we're going to have to change our costume. So I think we've entered some sort of uh, pervert town where you have to, by law, walk around in a swimsuit. What a strange old man. The furthest islands of the north that we haven't yet visited, actually. So I'm guessing we'll be uh, going north at some point.
Okay, so we've got a quest to now find a swimsuit. Ah, well Check that was easy. We didn't actually have to do anything. The in this little number. Huh? Oh, that's marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Okay, so now we can finish off what we were doing before. And the first thing we're going to do, the objective marker's right there, look. Uh, we're not going to go to that just yet. I'm going to see if uh, this is the final Evan that we need to collect. So we need to find some courage, even though we just collected some uh, kindness, was it? Uh, we are actually just going to go to the objective marker because it's nothing too uh, much at the minute. We'll be able to get free roam after our conversation once again. So we need a boat and this guy's Sind Bar. Uh, just so happens to have one. Which is uh, lucky or a little bit convenient if you ask me. So Drippy's just dropping us in it, as he does. He's not always of the most tactful kind, is he? He's our Drippy. So we need to go and collect a letter from the Cowlifer. Who happens to be in Elmer Moon? So, we now have our next task and it involves a little bit of backtracking. But before we do anything of the sort, uh, there's a few things we need to do. Uh, we don't need to speak to that guy again. That's the fellow we just picked an errand from. Okay, so this guy's got the courage that we need. No, 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 take heart, that's what we want. Good job we didn't give him that kindness, because I'm sure we're going to need that soon. Well, there's the courage. Uh, can we open blue chests? I can never remember which colour it is we can open. Yeah, it looks like we can. See what magic awaits inside. A fish burger. Lovely. So let's just have a very quick look at what errands we've collected. Have we spoke to everybody, incidentally? That's a, a good question. A Castaway Cove fisherman? Yes, we've done that. Castaway Cove designs? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought this guy wanted heart. Was that somebody else? Oh, yeah. We just have to speak to him first. And he wants courage, which we have a lot of. I 
another sunny day. A nice easy errand, and we're going to get two easy merit stamps for it, along with 200 guilders and two more fish burgers for our trouble. But we've still got two more errands to go. Uh, let me just check something on the map. While we are... The reason I did that is because I just wanted to see the direction. While we have a swimsuit on, I'm not sure if we'll need to exit and enter for this to happen. Uh, we can cross the bridge to speak to Horace. There he is. But you have to be wearing the swimsuit or he doesn't appear. Ah, we need to uh, bring him, bring him out. That's what we want, spirit medium. And he's going to have a little test for us. We certainly did. So Nazcan is a language, obviously. It's a language that uh, people used to speak ages ago. And he's going to test us on our Nazcan script. Now we'll have to open our wizard's companion and turn to the page headed the tools of wizardry. If you look closely you'll see some ancient script. Your task is to decipher it. And uh, once you've done that, the answer is finest. I don't think we... do we need to press about with uh, caps? I don't know but... I'm just going to type it in finest space fi, but if this doesn't work, it's because I've done the whole two words in caps. But that is the answer anyway. Okay. That's annoying. At least we know for next time though, so we don't make the same mistake again. Finest. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there we go. Oops, that's not the right answer. Ah, it must be the American spelling. That's it. Maybe it doesn't matter if it's in caps or not. And we receive the Vacate spell, which is actually a pretty useful spell. It allows us to leave uh, dangerous areas. So definitely one you'll want to pick up. I don't think we can use it now, but we'll have a look. You can't use that here. Okay, it plucks the caster from the depths. Uh, I'm guessing it's like dungeons and stuff. Either way, it's pretty useful. It really is pretty useful. Now we've got two tasks, in fact we'll pick them up from the next episode. We're also going to be going to Elma Moon to get our letter of passage for the captain. So thank you for joining me folks, please subscribe to be kept up to date with the future episodes of this series, I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below and remember to hit the like button and share this video with your friends on Facebook etc etc. Until next time I've been your host Fuzzfinger. Bye for now.